Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect the brand new Redmi Watch 3 with Android. In this video we will include all the options that are in the app. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. To connect the watch we have to scan the QR code. This QR code will show us the app, today we will use the Mi Fitness app. We already downloaded the app. Let's open it up right away. We can see the app and four of its pages, we go straight to the third one that is the device, press the plus sign. We have to allow Bluetooth and location to turn on, and after that it will find the Redmi Watch automatically. After you select the device wait for the confirmation code which will take seconds, allow both in phone and in watch too. Now sit back and wait to connect. After just a few seconds again we will see that the watch has been connected and in the phone we will see a guide which shows a few things to start using this app. We also need to allow notification and calls. This is all that it takes to connect the Redmi Watch 3, very easy way to do it. Back at the first page where we can see all the health options in detail. At the top we have daily activities as our first option. Steps, calories and moving charts will be shown for the whole week or just day by day. Next we have the workout that we did, we will see all the health measurements, distance and we will be able to see the route that we took thanks to the GPS. After that we will see sleep, heart rate, steps, calories, moving, standing, blood oxygen, stress, pi, VO2, and cycle. Every one of these options will be shown with charts, last measurement, and data for day, week or even month. On the second page we have workout where we can choose a workout and start it from the phone. Here we can track ourselves on the map and see live measurements. Also all the data will be saved so you can see at the end of the workout. 3 second countdown and the workout will start on the watch too. All the data will be available on both devices and you see how they are synchronized. On the third page where we connected the watch, the first option is watch faces where we can download a lot of them. We mentioned this option from the beginning. For ones that are downloaded it will take a second to change but we can go and download a new one which will take a little bit longer but will change the look of the watch. The process is very simple, select one that you like, hit download and wait. After just a minute this is the new face of the watch. Next we have app notification where we can turn it on and select which apps you want to get notification from or turn it off completely. At incoming calls we don't have much to do than to turn it off or on. At the heart rate we can turn it off or turn it on and schedule where to measure. Same goes for sleep, stress and standing where we can turn them on and schedule or turn them off completely. After healthcare we have cards where we can add ours so we can use them on our watch. Again at weather we can do too much other than or or off and select a temperature unit. At favorite contact we can add our family and friends number so we have faster access. Next is widgets where we can change the order of them and put the one that we need more on the front. Same thing is with the sort app but here we can change the order for all the apps on the menu. Put at the top apps that we use more frequently. Do not disturb, sleep mode and night mode are the last options on the system. Next we have security where we will find emergency SOS to put your local emergency number and PIN if you want to secure your watch more. Last option in this page are me L settings, help center, update, about device and in the end we have unpair. On the fourth page is profile except settings where you can customize some things, we mostly have pages to read rather than to see stuff. This would be it for the Redmi Watch 3 app in Android. Very easy app to use and plenty of data and options which is always welcomed by us. So, guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button, 
subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video with another smart device.